Hi, in the previous lecture, we've added our about us information to our templates. Now we've connected everything well. In this video, we will add our contact form to our project. So let's start. First of all, I'm going to create a new app for contact form. So I'm going to say Python manage the by start app and I'm going to say contact. Now let's run our server again and let's open our code. As we've learned through the course, when we create a new app, first of all we need to add this app to our install labs. So let's open our project, let's open settings and let's add our new app. Contact. Okay. Then let's take a look at our contact app. Our contact form. This is the page that we've got from our theme. We have a contact form. We should add a name, email, phone, message, and we will submit this information. This is good. There is no need for these reviews or for this map, so I'm gonna uh, like ignore it. And but I'm gonna add only the form for contact form. Okay. So now we've just we need just to take this template. And the move to our project, this is contact app, and I'm gonna create a new folder based in the name of templates. And here I'm gonna create a new folder with the name of contact. Just like this. Let's add our page in here. Okay. Now we're trying to treat with emails in a development. So we need to add the email backend settings and Django. So here I'm going to say email underscore backend equal to we're going to say Django dot core dot mail dot backend dot console because we're in a development dot email backend yeah just like this. Let's run our server again. Yeah, we just added the settings for our email backend, but we did this console because we're in a development. We're not in a deployment. We did not deploy our project. So when you deploy your project, you need to remove this settings and add the Google or whatever any service you use for your mail. So you need to add this settings in here. Okay. Now we add our settings we need to create a form because first we don't need to create a model because contact form but not will not be saved in the database we just need uh, our project to forward this mails to our mail service like for you using centigrade uh, zoho or, or whatever we need this mails to be sent to our zoho mail or our centigrade mail and so on so first let's open contact and let's create a new file with name of forms of by and we also need to create a new file with name of urls.by okay but first let's open forms and let's add our code for forms now first we need to import Django forms from Django import forms okay and here let's create a new class with name of contact form and this will inherit from forms forms dot for we're not using a model form because we're not depending on, on a model we're creating a new form that has no model okay so first as we said in our front end we need a name email phone message so first we we're gonna need an email and this is forms dot core field and we're gonna need from email this is the email that the user used to send to this message and this is forms dot email field okay and this email is required so we're gonna say required equal to true yeah and we need the subject this is gonna be a 
let's say a text field or, or a core field let's make it core field so we're gonna say forms the core field yeah this also required yeah we've added the name to the from email the subject we need let's take a look at the front end we have the mail the email this is the message so we need to add the message and the phone okay so let's change this to message this is a core field but we need to make it look like a text area so we're gonna say widget equal to and this is forms dot text area yeah and we need to take the phone so here let's duplicate this and this is the phone yeah so we'll take the name the phone the phone email and the message let's take a look the name the email the phone the message yeah now we did take everything so we have our four okay now let's create our URL so here we need to import in one of these URLs so I'm gonna take this let's copy this and let's paste this in here and here I'm gonna see this is contact app then our URL pattern I'm gonna remove both of those URLs yeah and first of all I'm gonna say email slash or we cannot remove this and the second one we can see success yeah and the first one let's open our view and let's create two views one is called email let's call it send email this will take a request from us yeah and another one is called let's see success yeah let's call it success oh send the success we'll take a request from us so we need to connect this send the mail with this and the success we need to connect it with this send success yeah just like this okay now we've created our form we've connected this form to our we've created a view sorry we've created two views one from send the email and one for success and we've connected those two views to our url we need to add our view logic so that we can send the email and retrieve a message when this email is sent so but we will do this in the next video so that this video don't be uh, big so we will do this in the next lecture see you next lecture